Hello, my name is I Smoke Dro from Redemption, and today I would like to take the time out to inform you of some new features that we have building that are possibly going to be set for release with the version 1.04 repack, and to address a couple issues that people have been worried about with the new client, the 7.1 client. I will not be giving any support for the 7.1 client, nor will I be assisting anyone in fixing the quest problem at all. So don't ask any questions, they won't be answered in relation to quest. Okay, so now down to business. I have disabled the Ursa system almost entirely, due to none of my players even wanted to touch it. I mean, they wanted the bear deco, but the, the actual thought of actually having to do Ursa to get it more than not kept them away from Ursa. Um, uh, the general feedback of Ursa was that it was a feature that most of them could quite easily live without. So I began a while back thinking of a playtime prize or something that was automated and I went through many different attempts um, to get to the point that I am but we decided that we would disable Ursa and remove the timer. As you can see, this whole video, you've not seen a uh, Ursa closing and blah. So that's gone. We've also removed the Ursa Caverns managers, as with Ursa being disabled, there's no reason for them to be there. So now here's what happens every time you log, uh, not every time you log, every time you level, a trigger is hit. And that trigger, it basically takes how much experience you've got and it converts it into gem points so basically you're getting paid a currency just to play so if that wasn't cool enough we've actually went and redesigned the whole gen point vendor and now mind you it's not done and some of these lists are not complete but so you click on the you, you level you get your points and then you go to the gem point shop and you click the gem point. Now on mine, since I'm level 160, I have all these lovely little options. But the list actually changes. See, like, take a good look at this one, pause it if you need to. Okay, now you've seen this list, you know this list. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my level to level 40 to demonstrate how the list changes. So we'll go back to level 40 here. And now we'll look at the list. Now you see the list is missing a couple of the options before. And from level 20 all the way to level 160, this list continually evolves and changes based on what you would need and, and what level you could get it. But not only that, we have another feature built into it as here at level 40, I'll go into the Stamina Saver shop, and Stamina Savers are 500 points. Now let me revert my level back to my previous level of level 160 to demonstrate the, the evolving prices. So we'll go back to, to 160 here. And apparently I'm having problem, problems typing today. Hopefully that doesn't last too long. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back to level 160. Now I'm going to go into the exact same stamina saver shop. And look, now stamina savers are 175. So that basically, you know, it, everything's not done. There's several shops. There's still things that have to be added. But this is hopefully a, a feature to look forward to. I'm sure your players will enjoy it. I'm sure anyone uh, anyone who plays Redemption will enjoy it. I've had a couple people testing it for the last couple days, and and apparently it's a it's a hit. So um, I hope you want it. I hope you liked what you've seen. And now I'm going to address the the issues that some people are having with the 7.1 client. As you can see here, I'm using the 7.1 client. Now, why would you use this client? This client is really only for the new pets and the new VI. 
for some reason it does not parse quest correctly. It we, when you get to a certain stage of the quest and it goes to hand you over from that part of the quest to the end of the quest, the trigger doesn't hit right. So what what we feel at Redemption and what we've analyzed at Redemption is that the client is calling for a different trigger than the database has for that quest. So there's only really one fix to that. Either you find out what the client is asking for and change the quest to be the same thing, or you just use the AOR or Eternal clients to get past the quest. Like I said, this client is literally only for the new pets and the new VI. Past that, there's no reason to have it. So, if you're having problems with Quest, use the old client. When you're done with the Quest, use the new client. As in Carbon said, there will be no support. As I said, I'm not going to give any support. Because, you know, this is just kind of like something for enthusiasts. People who really want the pets and really want the new VI. So, again, don't ask me any questions over this client. I will ignore you completely. I don't do that to be mean. I do that because no one likes to listen. So, as always, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, and I'll catch you guys on the forums.